Andy, how can I master a proper risotto? Come on now. Hey everyone, Andy Roddick here, and uh, it is time for Ask Andy, where you have uh, so graciously sent in your best questions to at Tennis Channel uh, for me to answer. So uh, I'm cheating off of my computer, which is in the background. So, uh, so here goes. What was the most satisfying win of your career? Um, I'm not sure. Uh, I always kind of think of the, uh, the 2007 uh, Davis Cup final where we won um, in, in Portland. Um, we had been working for that title for, for a long time and it took kind of a, a team of people coming together. And so that was uh, largely satisfying um, because I was able to share it with the fellow players, our captain, uh, Patrick McEnroe, uh, our staff, who, all the people who work behind the scenes to make sure that, uh, you know, we, we had the opportunity to go out and, uh, and represent our country. So that, that's, that's probably one of them. What was your favorite match of the Miami Open? Uh, I'm assuming you meant something that I played in. Um, I won it twice, which was uh, which was a result for me. Um, beat Rafa in 2010, which was really cool. But the one I'm 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 probably the, the one that's probably my favorite is uh, I played uh, Pete Sampras there when I was 18 years old. Uh, he was three in the world. I was uh, far from that and uh, got a win. And it was the first time that I was on uh, national TV, et cetera, et cetera. So. Um, you know, you only get to play your idols for the first time, uh, obviously once, and that was a, a big, big deal for me to uh, not only take the court with Pete, um, but uh, actually win. Uh, it was it was pretty cool. Van Toon ZZZ is the the Twitter name. Uh, Andy, how can I master a proper risotto? Come on now. Ju Hackman. Uh, not Hugh Jackman, I see what you did there. Uh, favorite shot, alcohol, not tennis. Man, I don't do shots anymore. That's just, uh, uh, that ain't the drill. Um, I will sip some bourbon. I will sip some Sweden's Cove bourbon. Uh, mostly I drink red wine. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a big red wine guy, kind of nice glass at the end of the day is, uh, is what I go to most of the time. Did you sweat the most at this tournament above all others, meaning Miami? Uh, probably. Um, you, you know what? You know what was pretty brutal is is like Cincy and Washington in the summer. I remember those being just about as as hot as it gets. Maybe even more so than than Miami in March. But you know, certainly up there. At a certain point, you're just a disgusting, sweaty uh, beast of a human, which is where I lived most of the time. Bedoya four six five two said, "Who has the best racket smash ever?" Uh, obviously, most people say Macrono because he did it uh, the most often. Um, someone who's really good at it, like there was no need for like a second swing was, was Safin. You know, normally if he decided it was go time, the, the racket was, uh, was in the rear view. Um, also underrated was Fernando Gonzalez. He, uh, one of my favorite people, one of the nicest guys, but he would lose it sometimes and take it out on uh, his racket. Any suggestions on strengthening, loosening the shoulder to drop A-Rod bombs? Um, yeah, stretching, obviously everyone kind of knows the stretches. The, the one where you kind of pin it here and pull forward for your rotator cuff is good. The one thing I would say is that when people do, uh, you know, lifting exercise to try to get more powerful, uh, you want to be careful not to do that just for bulk. You want to keep range of motion, so maybe lower weights than, than, than whatever your max is and higher reps kind of keeps a, a, a long lean type muscle, um, which which helps for serving a little bit more. Uh, what's your favorite food? Big taco burrito guy. Um, always, always have time for that. When's the most nervous you've ever been or before or during a match? I don't know, I was always jittery before matches. <laughs> One of my many sources of jealousy uh, with Roger was how relaxed he was able to be just through kind of his operation, whether it was practice before matches. Um, I was not that way. I uh, was and am um, pretty high strung when, when I care about something. I was actually less nervous probably later on in tournaments. Obviously, the what was on the line was was greater. But you know, if I was in the quarter semis finals of a of a tournament, um, I largely knew that I was playing okay, so I didn't really have to worry about that as much. Uh, thank you for sending in your questions. Uh, always feel free to hashtag Ask Andy at, at Tennis Channel on Twitter. Uh, I'm Andy. That's it. We'll see you soon. All right, bye. Check us out on TC Live.